Hey guys, I'm Janine and welcome to my channel, Happy Stylish Fit. If you're new around here, I like to spread happiness through fashion, beauty, and living a healthy, positive lifestyle. For today's video, I am going to do an Ipsy Glam Bag review. I've done a few of these on my blog before, um, but I thought let's switch it up this time and do a little video. So I just got my Ipsy bag uh, yesterday. Here we go. So the theme for this month's Ipsy bag is Ipsy Much Love, what squad goals are made of. So um, the Ipsy bags always come with this little um, like postcard type thing um, that gives you little tips, shows you what the, um, not box, what the bag is based around for the month. So obviously this is February, there's the whole Valentine's thing. So course they are surrounding it around ipsy much love but rather than the relationship taking it's all about squad goals and galentine's day and then there's also a little note on the back um, about playing with your stuff and to make sure you review it online um, which is a really really good point um, when you make sure you review your ipsy bag online it's going to get even more and more customized to suit you to make sure you're happy with it your first few ipsy bags might be a little bit hit or miss but the more you review the happier you're gonna be so it's really worth it plus you get points and as the points add up you get free stuff so who doesn't want free stuff so um i'll start with the bag um this one is a denim type one or chambray I'm not too sure I guess it's like a chambray I don't know anyway denimish style looks like denim um, and then this nice neon orange which um, neon bright colors are really in for spring um, and then a silver zipper and then the zipper charm which changes from time to time is I don't know if you can see it but they're cute little lips that say ipsy and so that's the bag super cute i'll definitely reuse this one sometimes they can be hit or miss um but i am liking this one i think it'll be really good for spring so now getting into the items i got this really nice um brush so it's from a uh, luxie beauty and it is the luxie 514 blush brush uh, so it is really really soft it feels so nice I'm super stoked on it um every brush I've ever gotten in the ipsy bag has been awesome I already have so many uh, makeup brushes and tools but I will never tell them to stop because everything they send me is fantastic plus they also make good for little gifts for people as well um so super soft First item, definitely a win, Lexi Beauty Blush Brush. And then um, I got some Rosa Noir Hand and Body Milk. So it's a 30 milliliter size, um, perfect for um, putting in your purse and taking on the go. I've started to get more and more hand creams from them which I really like. It means I don't have to buy any um, and I have them all around my house like literally by the couch, on my desk, by the door, upstairs in my bedroom, in my purses. So thank you Ipsy for supplying me with all of these. Um, what I really like about this Rosa Noir uh, formula is it does feel milky. Um, some of the other ones I've had, which I also like, but they're a lot thicker and kind of cakier I don't really know how to explain it but it's much thicker formula which takes a lot longer to dry where this one is nice and soft and milky and your hands feel so soft right away um, and it dries fairly quickly too which is also really good because um, I have the bad habit of putting on some hand lotion and then going into meetings to meet people and I have lotiony hands and that's not good uh, so I will probably be keeping this one in my car because that's normally when that situation happens to me. Anyway, carrying on. Um, this one is from Elizabeth Mott. It's the What's Up Beaches um, Matte Bronzer. Um, I love the little cheeky names uh, that a lot of different cosmetic companies have. Um, so here you go. That's the label. Might take a while to focus. 
Um, and then it's just a nice matte um, bronzer color that I actually quite like. Um, so the matte's nice. It's great for contouring. Um, and it's nice and light, which works well for my um, pale skin. So here, there's a bit of a swatch there. Um, I think you can see it. It's a little bit hard to see. But it's nice and light, and it's a really good color for my skin tone. So again, with the beauty quiz, when you first sign up, um, you put in all the information for your skin tone, hair color, all that sort of stuff. You can change it at any time. As some of you guys might know, um, I used to have bright red hair <laughs> and I changed that less than a year ago. And I had to redo my quiz, but it didn't actually hamper um, too much of what I got in my bag. It's not like it threw off all of those reviews I've been doing for years. Um, so, don't really know where I was going with that. Good color, matte bronzer. Um, they do, um, for a lot of the samples, they are in little plasticky kind of containers like this. That's how they can cut costs and supply us with these really great branded um, products to try. If they had to do all of that packaging, we just wouldn't get to try all of this stuff. Um, so that is that one. And then I'm really excited for this one. It's from a new brand I haven't heard of called Law, Law Beauty Essentials. It's a nail polish and it's 100% vegan and toxic free, which is so, so up my alley. As many of you know, I'm all about the natural products and uh, vegan friendly. Um, most of the products in Ipsy are that way, which I really, really like. And this is just a nice um, kind of lavender color. For some reason it gives me the feel of like being on the moon which might be kind of weird um but i'm really excited to try it i think it'll be good on my toes so i'm gonna sorry that's blue one second all right sorry about that um so yeah nail polish makes me feel like the moon really excited about it almost all the nail polishes i've tried are 100 percent vegan toxic free or in the least are the five free um, and it's a great way to try out new brands so excited for that um, I didn't have time to try it before this video I just got the bag yesterday um, so I'm gonna try and use it tonight and I'll leave more specific notes in the blog post about um, how it is for fast drawing that sort of thing um, and then last but not least is the organic pharmacy lip and eye cream um, nourish treat refresh a rich cream with eye bright fennel bibbery and frickin frankincense sorry I didn't say that very good frankincense to nourish so sounds like it's got a lot of good things I really like it's that it's called the organic pharmacy um, I will look into it a little bit more and leave more info again in the blog post as to if it is all natural and vegan and all that good stuff. Sorry, one more second. Okay, let's try this one last time and hopefully we'll be okay. So I'm not entirely sure where I left off, um, but here it is, the Organic Pharmacy Lip and Eye Cream. Again, I didn't get a chance to use it. I got to bed pretty late last night and totally forgot about it, um, but I will try it tonight and I'll make sure to uh, leave my ideas and thoughts behind it in the blog post, which is going to be linked down below. Um, so there you have it, uh, five great items from Ipsy this February. And, oops, sorry, a bit of bloopers in this video. Um, so yeah, there you go, um, the February Ipsy Glam Bag Review. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the bag, um, and you really can't go wrong at the price. I think it's like $10 American, um, but for me as a Canadian, it's like $14.95 with the shipping and the conversion. It's about $20 bucks a month which is still really, really good to be able to try out these five great products every month. It's also really nice to just be receiving something new in the mail. I've stopped tracking it, so it's always a really nice surprise. And this one actually couldn't have came any better. 
I was really down yesterday morning and then I got the Epsi bag in the mail so that was really nice. So I recommend don't track your packages, leave it as a little surprise present. Um, and yeah, I've got a bunch of other subscription box reviews on the blog. I'll leave a link below if you're interested and make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will keep doing subscription box reviews for you. Uh, so there you go. Um, I will see you next Friday with a tutorial for how to do, how to curl your hair this way. Okay, thanks. I'll see you guys later. Bye.